Okay, so check this out. My son, for Father's Day, gave me a complete surprise when I got a package in yesterday that I had no idea he even remembered us talking about it or did he even listen to me? <laughs> you know, kids have time to listen to their parents, right? But he listened to me this time because we were just chatting about my sim racing for the Gran Turismo 7. And how I had the Thrustmaster T150 wheel, which has been a good wheel, but it is on the lower end. And it's not as uh, precise and doesn't have some of the uh, features that a uh, newer, more expensive wheel has. And I just had mentioned like, yeah, one day I'm going to probably, you know, upgrade. And I told him the one I was thinking about upgrading to. And lo and behold, guess what came in the mail yesterday from Amazon? A brand new Logitech G923 wheel and pedals. Super stoked. I'm going to head on over to the gaming area. And I'm going to dismount the T150 from the stand and mount this bad boy on it and check it out. So, let's get to it. Today, we are going to be unmounting this so we can mount this so in true content creator fashion um my audio cut out again and i realized that my lavalier mic has a short in it so the previous video basically other than the very beginning has no audio <laughs> whatsoever but that's okay um, I am going to use it as some B-roll so you can see um, some of the unboxing and whatnot. But as you can see, I've already kind of just got it set on here. Um, it's not like permanent in place. I am going to show you some of the features though because that's one thing that was missed in that previous video. One of the first things I want to go back over is this pedal set because I can tell you that the weight of this is... Easy twice as heavy as the other one. That doesn't necessarily mean it's better, but it's definitely better built. The pedals are metal, and I really like the spacing. The action on the pedals is, gosh, it's unbelievable. I, I can't wait to try it out because it's going to be amazing. One cool thing that I noticed, too, when I was looking at it is on the top here, if you were going to be using this on the carpet, say like you just were to set it, like you're gonna sit in this chair, you didn't have you know, a frame to mount it to, and this was gonna be on the carpet, then you would pop this down and it kinda of like digs into the carpet to keep it from sliding forward. I think that's a really cool feature. I really like that. And instead of a, like a little phone jack, it uses a serial connection for connecting to the steering wheel. Um, so this is pretty awesome. It does have the mounting holes as well. And you can see there's three at the bottom and three on the top. So it's uh, it's going to easily mount to this plate without a problem. So now let me take the steering wheel back off because I have a couple of things I want to show you on this. So... Obviously, this is the USB cable for the uh, that goes into the PlayStation. But one thing it has is you'll see like these pieces right here. There's one on each side. These pop in and out, so you can like push it in when you're not needing to adjust anything. But this is what actually adjusts the uh, bracket that you use to mount the wheel onto the plate with, which is pretty awesome. Um, they give you this whole underside here for cable management and storage, which is great because the last one I had, I had to like wrap the cable around the leg of the stand because there was so much excess cord. Well, here I can just get what I need, set it, put it in the cable management area, clamp it down, be done with it. So it's going to be super convenient. I usually leave it plugged in and I just slide it around the side of the uh, coffee table area where the TV is mounted. And it makes it super easy just to pull it in and out to when I want to play. 
the paddles metal and as you can i don't know if you can hear that the the action on the paddles is smooth and very tactile and i can just tell even without having it on the action in the wheel is much smoother than the thrustmaster t150 so i'm super pumped to have this and we are going to get this mounted up and we're going to give it a try now i do need to kind of figure out the placement of the pedals but i really won't be able to do that until i kind of get the steering wheel put on and i'm ready to kind of set it and forget it so to speak because i think i'm going to have to move the pedal structure maybe over a little bit and I don't know if I'll need to move it up or down. We'll just have to see. This plate here on this is obviously adjustable as well. So it goes up and down. So if I need to make the platform flatter to compensate for the different angle of the pedals, that's easy to do. But they really look about the same. So um, I don't know that it's going to be a big deal. Let me get those other pedals. So you can see these are the other pedals. And everything on it is plastic as opposed to half of that being metal and you can see the difference in size of the uh, the pedals now again the angle of the pedal looks pretty close to the same so i don't think i'm going to have to adjust the base but you know we'll find out but uh yeah this is going to be super awesome can't wait to try it oh and another thing is it these pedals have screw holes on the bottom of it, of it as i showed you but they didn't have any screws at least i couldn't find any in the box so I think the screws come with the mount, which is probably why I have them from the other one. So I should be able to easily use them in this without a problem because I'm pretty sure the holes are pretty standard. Uh, but they also have nice thick rubber pads on the bottom of these pedals, so it's not going to slide around um, at all. But there's several different mounting slots I have on this plate, so it shouldn't be any problem to get it mounted. Yeah, so just want to show you, this over here is a serial port for a shifter. This is the serial port for the pedals. And this over here is the power. And I'm going to be able to route all of that, you know, through these little uh, wire guides, which is awesome. Actually, I think I'll move this one to the inside over here. So then now what I can do here is now that I have that in place, I'm going to wrap this around before I set it in its little slot. See what that looks like. And see, this is super nice because when you put it on here, that's going to hide all that cable. And that's not too bad. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm going to leave a little bit of slack. So that's actually perfect. So that's awesome. Let's tighten this back up so I can leave that sit there for a minute. I need to get this power cord. And this isn't like super long, so I'm probably not going to wrap that up at all. Um, I'm just going to plug it in. Now let's take this off real quick. And as my uh, good friend always likes to say, and Bob's your uncle. I don't really know why he says that all the time, but he does. He likes it. <laughs> so I just noticed too, this actually has two screw holes back here. I don't have the screws for this. I could probably get some, but uh, for now, I'm just going to use the clamp. And if it doesn't hold it well, then I'll probably get some screws because I do have several mounting points on here that I could mount that. All right. Yeah, that worked fine because I got to adjust the pedals anyways, which is why I'm going to leave a little slack. So I think actually when I move that up, it's going to be just enough. So that's going to be perfect, actually. And push them down and it locks in place. That's awesome. I think I'll wait till I get everything tidied up. And then I'm going to use this strap and I'm going to strap that back to the side there. All right. So let's see about getting these pedals aligned. Well, so the other screw hole is under the plate because the slat where I need to put it doesn't come far enough up. So I don't have anywhere to put this screw. And all the screw holes over here are kind of in the center slots on this bracket are further apart than what the screw holes are so i can't line them up all right well that's okay let's get this one screw tight because i definitely want to keep it in there obviously i'm going to have to change the plate 
or the whole assembly. I don't know if this company sells like a different plate I can use. And I can't turn the plate around because of the way the plate's made. That's not going to work because it bolts down here. That's all right. This will probably do fine. Yeah, so actually this needs to be adjusted now down. I left these just a little bit loose where I can move that plate up and down without having to break out the Allen wrench every time I want to move it. And actually, if I need it down a little more, I can either raise this up or push this down in the back because this has some movement down. Well, you know, I'll deal with that later. Um, I do, I think I'm going to have to find a different way of mounting that to that plate because there's times when I slam on the gas and <laughs> I don't want it to move, but uh, that's okay. We'll figure it out. So we'll be back with an actual test. Okay, so all set up, ready to go. I haven't plugged it into the PlayStation just yet, but I was able to uh, actually adjust the pedals where I could use the back screw hole instead of the top and get it in a much better position. So I think it's going to be fine for now. I am going to have to probably get a different plate if they make one. I'm going to have to reach out and see uh, from, I guess it's pronounced Weber, Weber, not sure. But um, if not, then at some point down the road, I'll probably invest in a uh, new frame. Maybe one with a seat. Who knows? We'll see. So I'm going to get this all set up and get it plugged in. And we're going to do some live streaming to test it out. So stick around. Okay, so I'm recording this so I can publish it later. I'm going to kind of go through the setup because I know in Gran Turismo 7 settings, there are settings for the um, Logitech wheel. So we're going to go over to settings. Now, one thing I can say too is the button placement on the string wheel as far as the... Um, the buttons to the right and the uh, D-pad to the left are in a really good spot. Before, I used to have to hunt for them down here. Now, there's a plus minus button. There's some other buttons here that I'm going to have to figure out exactly what all those buttons do. Uh, because this is far more um, elevated as far as feature function than what the previous one was. So, uh, let's get into the settings and see what we got here. Controllers. So there is where they have the base set up for that T150 Thrustmaster. Which again, that was a good wheel. But I'm super stoked to have this because I can already tell this thing is going to be amazing. So this is the G923 right here. And... So let's see, we have, uh, oh, okay, so that's the share button, options button, that's nice, down there on the center of the uh, bottom spoke, and then we have um, nitrous takeover, I don't use nitrous, but, you know, I'm sure all these buttons are programmable, so, like, you can change it. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I don't really have any reason to change the button layout, so I'm just going to leave it the same, but... Uh, that's nice that I don't have to do anything. It's already set up. What is steering controller settings? What is that? Oh, wow. Look at that. Pedal calibration. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to get used to the uh, pedal placement. Nice. That's cool. I, I, I don't remember that feature being there with that Thrustmaster. Yeah, there's really nothing I need to change. So let's go check this out. Let's go over and... Do a lap around Nürburgring since I'm familiar with that lap or that track and I'm familiar with the car. Um, it'll be a good test. Yeah, it's going to take me some getting used to, I'm sure, because these pedals are way different. Oh, steering is fantastic. Oh my gosh.
squad cars. Man, alive. Never fails. Oh my gosh, this steering wheel is so nice. I like the rev limiter on the LEDs too, that's pretty cool. Feedback on this is amazing. Whoa, dude. Oh, 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 oh. I wonder if I can adjust the uh, pedal stiffness of the brake pedal. It's a little tight. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, so this definitely needs uh, some rubber pads or something. Because I just snatched that steering wheel right off there. Yeah. I could probably put like a metal, or not a metal, but a rubber piece under the uh, wheel. see how much I can catch up because that obviously put me way back <laughs> see if I can catch him in this chicane <laughs> oh. oh man well I would say a second place finish even though I wrecked that guy it was not bad considering I pulled the steering wheel off the platform and the uh, pedals don't look like they're moving much I mean move a little bit but not a lot I can definitely fix that this is awesome I give this a two thumbs up. I do got to see about maybe releasing the tension on that brake pedal because it's really tight. I don't know if that's going to be possible or not, but I'm going to find out. It's really easy to oversteer because I that other steering wheel I was whitening a lot more. And, you know, it was a lot rougher, so it required me a lot more input. This doesn't. I noticed too, I guess because of how smooth the steering is, I don't have to put as much input in, it's responding faster, that I can actually carry more speed through some of these corners because I'm not having to turn the wheel as much. It's a lot more responsive. Oh, <laughs> smoke the tires. <laughs> That was a cool picture. All right, that's good on that. I think this test was a big success. I got a couple of little things to iron out, maybe some settings to tweak. I'm gonna see about adjusting that brake pedal, but all in all, huge upgrade, super stoked. Definitely recommend you go get you one if you do any sim racing at all and you wanna do it on a budget. So we'll catch you next time.